We begin tonight with President Trump's rare interview, his first international TV interview since taking office. This at the same time the president is battling new headlines over the Russia investigation. President Trump facing a critical week at the White House, his first State of the Union address on Tuesday, and he's selling his new immigration plan to critics in both parties. And tonight, new reports, President Trump has Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein in his crosshairs after he considered firing special counsel Robert Mueller last June. ABC's David Wright leads us off. Mr. President. Tonight, a reunion between the former winner of The Celebrity Apprentice and his old boss, now the President of the United States. Let's go. Come on, Pierce. British journalist Piers Morgan presses Trump on a range of issues, from his views of women who have protested Trump's presidency in record numbers. Are you a feminist? No, I wouldn't say I'm a feminist. I mean, if I think that would be maybe going too far. I'm, I'm for women, I'm for men, I'm for everyone. To his refusal to endorse stronger gun control measures, even after the mass shooting in Las Vegas. If they had the bullets going in the opposite direction, you would have saved a lot of lives. So I get what you're saying, but I believe in the Second Amendment. Trump also takes credit for a booming economy. A lot of the global economy, Piers, is because of how well we're doing. You know, most people will admit that, but we are doing well. That's helping all around the globe. That's a good thing. The interview, downright chummy at times. One topic Morgan steers clear of is the ongoing Russia investigation. Today, the Washington Post reports Trump recently considered firing his deputy attorney general, the man who appointed the special counsel. This after reports confirmed by ABC News that Trump considered firing Bob Mueller, too. Some members of the president's party worry Trump may be flirting with an obstruction of justice charge. It's pretty clear to me that everybody in the White House knows it'd be the end of the President Trump's presidency if he fired Mr. Mueller. On Tuesday night, President Trump hits the reset button at his first State of the Union address. He's expected to make the case that the Trump economy has been good for all Americans. But that inclusive message won't erase his inflammatory rhetoric on issues of race and immigration. Overnight, rapper Jay-Z called the president out over reported comments suggesting, in harsh language, that African immigrants are undesirable. It's disappointing and it's hurtful. It really is hurtful, more so like looking down on a whole population. Today, Trump fired back on Twitter, somebody please inform Jay-Z that because of my policies, black unemployment has just been reported to be at the lowest rate ever recorded. And David joins us live from the White House. And David, I want to go back to the Russia investigation. There's news tonight of a push to release a classified memo written by a Republican congressman that suggests bias in the FBI and a fight brewing right now because the president wants that released? Tom, that's from today's Washington Post. It's a fight that would pit the president against his own Justice Department. And it has to do with a controversial secret memo written by a congressional ally of the president's detailing allegations of bias among FBI investigators. The Post says the president wants that released to the public so that people can judge for themselves. But his own Justice Department says that would be totally reckless to do that without a proper review. Tom? David Wright for us tonight. David, thank you. And a reminder, ABC News will have live coverage of President Trump's State of the Union address. George Stephanopoulos, David Muir, and myself joining the powerhouse political team. That's Tuesday at 9 p.m. here on ABC. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.